Hi guys, it is January 26, 2015. Agenda 21 is rolling out. There's a plan floating around Davos to spend $90 trillion redesigning all the cities of the world so they don't need cars. So they, meaning you, so you don't need cars. That's right, we're going to redesign the planet so that everybody lives in densely packed neighborhoods and you don't need cars, you'll have access to public transportation. Ain't that great? That is one of the more ambitious and possibly outlandish ideas knocking around the World Economic Forum at Davos, Switzerland this morning. The Davos meeting is the annual conclave of the world's ruling class. Presidents and prime ministers, CEOs and religious figures, and the thousands of journalists who follow them hoping for a soundbite or two to deliver to you. <laughs> The $90 trillion cities proposal came from none other than the infamous Al Gore and former president of Mexico, Felipe Calderon, and their colleagues on the Global Commission on the Economy and Climate. That's right, global warming, save the planet, push everybody into densely packed neighborhoods so that you don't have to drive your cars, but these people will still be driving their limousines and they will still be flying around in their jets and they'll still be living the way they live. Only you get to live in densely packed neighborhoods without a car. Part of fighting climate change will mean redesigning or building anew towns and cities without cars, Calderon says. We cannot have these cities with low Density designed for the use of cars. Uh-uh, we can't have that. No, because, you know, we're just destroying the planet. Even though the whole global warming climate change hype is a utter lie, hoax. Look on my channel. Just put it in the search bar of YouTube. Climate change hoax, global warming hoax. And you will see so many, so many experts talking about this utter lie. But it continues to roll on, and Agenda 21 continues to roll on, and I highly suggest subscribing to Grind All 61, where he has loads of videos about Agenda 21 rolling out in his community. And watching those videos, you can get to see what it looks like, because if it's not happening in your community, as I speak, and it probably is, and you just don't know it. But if it's not, it's coming really, really, really soon. They are redesigning the planet for their own benefit. And we will suffer the consequences. So yeah, we recommend those cities should have more density and more mass transportation. Get rid of the cars. Together with a program for reforming land use and bringing deforestation to zero, the total cost of this plan would likely be $90 trillion in future investment. And guess who's going to be paying for it? You. Business Insider spoke briefly with Calderon after the panel to ask him to explain where this $90 trillion was going to come from and how exactly one might persuade every city on Earth to go along with it. Turns out the $90 trillion is the total of infrastructure investment that is likely to be spent anyway building and upgrading cities. Are they upgrading any cities? Are they working on that infrastructure? No. Virtually all of our bridges are near collapse. They're decaying. Our highways are a mess. No. They're stealing that money, and you will be paying for this latest and greatest transformation. And it's all about Agenda 21. And if you don't know about Agenda 21, please do the research. So Gore and Calderon are arguing that it be spent more wisely to produce cities that don't incentivize people to burn fossil fuels just to get from A to B. How do you think Gore is going to be getting places? You think he's going to be taking mass transit the key will be to persuade the mayors, again, all the mayors on earth, that designing new cities this way will be vastly preferable to the old way in terms of efficiency 
and prosperity for their residents. The mistake we made in Mexico was to let cities develop however they want, and it's a mess, Calderon told Business Insider. It's in their, the mayor's, best interest not to repeat that mistake. The main problem is that mayors are not widely aware that the cost of redesigning cities sustainab sustainably in the future may be cheaper than the cost of letting development run unhindered and car-focused. Sustainability, code word for Agenda 21. Agenda 21 is the elite's plan to control every aspect of your life, every life on the planet. This is no joke. This is happening. I will link below to Grindall 61's channel. I really, really, really do hope that everybody checks out his videos. Thank you for watching. Oh, and let me just tell you, this is not anything that you are going to want. 